Hey guys, here today with another unboxing and pretty much a review of this guy right here. Fly color. This is going to be the Raptor 390 Tower. Now this is, what this is, is a two stack PDB and FC and 4-in-1 ESC. And also OSD, all in one. So it's a lot of things, well, not all in one, all in two. So it's a lot of things in a nice small stack. Go ahead and show you this. Before I get started, I just want to say this was provided free of charge by GearBest. Here you can see the price. Also, don't forget to check out the Black Friday deals going on right now. But yes, and this is where I need to start talking about this this price of seventy nine dollars and five cents this tower is pretty much a direct competitor to the tbs power cube if you guys don't know what that is here it is right here that is the tbs power cube now the thing about this is if you can count here it's a six tiered stack the pdb is one Four ESCs are each their own stack and the flight controller on top. So it's a six tier stack. Now this thing performs great. Never had any issue with this, but this is $140. As you saw, the Raptor is a little under $80. So, you know, almost half price. And let me show you what you're getting for that price. You're getting a nice little instruction manual. Parts overview. Let me open this up. It's showing you they have two models, uh, a 20 amp and a 30 amp. I believe this is the 30 amp. So you have a 30 amp constant, 40 amp burst, 2 to 4S rated. It gives you a nice little exploded view of your stack. Shows you where to wire up the motors, and it's going to show you all the plugs and the diagram for all the plugs. Let me go ahead and get this out. Okay, so here you have the unit itself. As you can see, the flight controller is on top. Um, the 4 in 1 ESC is right here on the bottom. Got a nice little ports and plugs for everything. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you a better look in a second. And also in the box, you get this little baggie with a bunch of plugs in here. First off, you get an XT60 pretend, which is nice. Then you have all these plugs that plug into uh, the flight controller ports. Now I'm going to go over these briefly. Let's get this back over here. So, of course, you have PWM plugs. I think everybody knows what that is with the eight plugs. And that's going to go into your 10-pin plug right here on top. If you want to do PPM, that's also going to go into your 10-pin plug on top. But, of course, you only have three wires. So it's going to go into that port. Next up, we have this guy right here, which is going to be, let's see, four pin with three plugs. So this is going to be your S bus or I bus if you're on Fly Sky. Um, this is going to be your S bus plug. And this is going to go, where's the S bus going? Let's see, over here. So S bus is going to go right here to this port right here. Okay, next plug, this is going to be four pins. <clears throat> so this is going to be the camera plug, image transmission. So no, actually this is gonna be for your VTX. Okay, so your VTX plug is going to go on the bottom side. Let's see, orient myself here, bottom side. 
USB in front. This is going to go on the left side over here. So bottom side right here, basically. So VTX, bottom plug right there. Next plug is going to be this little plug right here. This is going to be your camera plug. It's going to go right here, right on top of the VTX plug. So, you know, brown, positive, and white is going to be video. And on here, yellow is going to be video. And last but not least, we have this six pin plug, which is going to be just plugs in right on the bottom port on this side now what this is going to be for uh, the top two up here are going to be for your buzzer and the bottom three are going to be for leds and this middle one i'm not sure because it's not labeled <laughs> it actually says there's six plugs here let me show you guys it actually says one two three five six if you guys can see that one, two, three, five, six. I don't know what happens to four. Uh, I guess it's just an extra ground. Looks like it from here. Just extra ground. So, anyways, just thought I'd go over that real quick. Show you guys what all those plugs do. I'll go ahead and take these screws off. Give you guys a better look at the inside of the stack. Now, I will say one thing I do wish um, that I did like about the power cube that it came with the motor wires already on with bullet connectors. I know it's a, it's a small thing, but I actually like that convenience. So, and this is how you're going to take the stack apart, take those screws out, and it takes a little bit of force, but try not to bend it too much. Try to go straight up and down, and just like that, it pops off. It's real snug, which is a good thing. Um, but it will pop off and see, even like, uh, I've bent it a little bit, bend this pin back, but yeah, anyways, so here you guys can see this is the bottom of the flight controller, nothing really special here, and the top of your 4-in-1 ESC, and now, if you guys can see here, right, get this. All right, so right here is going to be your your positive side, your negative side for your battery plug, these two pads, and then one, two, three for this is going to be motor one. As you see, there's one right here, motor two, these three pads, motor three, these three pads, and motor four, these three pads up top. Now, don't be like me earlier because uh, it's my second time filming this. It's been about <laughs> 10 minutes looking like, why is there no positive or negative symbols here? But of course, because I'm thinking about regular ESCs, not a four on one ESC. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and plug this up to the computer and show you guys what is running out the box. Put this back together. And hold on, pause this and I'll be right back. Oh uh, yeah, before I do that, Real quick, I'm actually going to have to go put on, actually go solder this on so I can plug it up and give it some battery power so we can check out the ESCs. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a dry weight. So we're looking at 20 grams. And just so you guys know, these are standard mounting hole distance. Go center in the center of the screw, and as you see, we're right there on 30.5. So, I'm gonna go ahead and solder on this XT60, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. Took me a lot longer than I thought it would just to put this XT60 on. Um, I guess I'll say that is another negative. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. These pads are super close, especially for this gauge of wire. 
Uh, maybe for the motor wires, which I think are probably a gauge down, would be okay. But for these, like, the gap in between the positive and negative is almost non-existent. Like, these pads definitely should have been bigger. Definitely should have been spaced out a little more. Hopefully, I even have a spec I mean, it's hard to see, honestly. So, hopefully, this doesn't go boom when I <laughs> plug it in. Uh, anyways, before I blow it up, let me go ahead and show you the settings. Now, it does come with beta flight, pre program. As you can see, we're right here in the beta flight configurator. All right, focus over here. And as you can see, three UARTs. It's all set up, quad X, all your normal stuff here. Of course, you'll have to change all this uh, for your particular setup. No PIDs, of course, this is just stock. And what version are we running? Let me let me spell right. <laughs> okay, and we are running Beta Flight SP Racing F3 Target version. This is Beta Flight version 2.9.1. So almost up to date. We're currently on 3.0.1. 2.9.1 is still a good version if you just want to leave it at that. Okay, and we do have eight megabytes of flash for black box and let's see I think that's about it not sure what else you guys would want to see anyways that's it for that now let's go ahead and jump into BL heli go ahead and show you guys that real quick now bear with me because this is my first time using this so Hopefully everything works out okay. <laughs> Let's see, you're gonna go ahead and click connect. Make sure you change all propellers, connect power to the ESCs, okay? Hopefully, like I said, hopefully it doesn't go pop right now. Put this battery in. Well, that's good, no, no weird sounds. No ESC sounds, but no weird sounds. And let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right. So let's see. We got Fly Color Raptor. Oh, we'll see. I was wrong. These are, I have the 20 amp version. So I have to make note of that. 20 amp version. Or actually, it could just be running the 20 amp. The 20 amp and the 30 amp could be the same, um, you know, target. So I have to check on that. Not really sure yet. So anyways, we have four ESCs. They're running the Raptor 390 20 amp. They are flashed to BL Heli 14.6. Um, as far as I know, it's not, uh, that's a pretty recent version of BL Heli. Uh, you can see over here, damp light is enabled. And all your other little settings right here. Of course, you have to change these for your particular setups. Let's see, whatever firmware firmware do we have? Um, what else is available? Okay, well, we're already up to 14.8. So this is just one version back, which I mean, isn't that bad. And of course you have your multi-shots down here, which I haven't messed with multi-shot yet, but eventually I will. But just to show you guys that it is there, and give you guys the first look at these settings. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, if you see the time down there, it is 4.30 in the morning. It's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed. Wanted to rush this one out because uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about this one. And I know this is a pretty interesting product. And like I said, this is a direct competitor to the TBS Power Cube at about half the price. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys got any questions, I will try my best to answer them. Um, if 
you guys need help with anything, I, I'm always here trying to help as much as I can. But for now, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.